All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Happy Saturday, everyone. I hope you're having an amazing, amazing day. Um, thank you. Oh, no worries, Ebony. Again, guys, we're travel agents. We work from home. Um, so we get all kinds of pictures, all kinds of uh, conversations. So um, no worries. We're, we're used to it. As you see on those fun zoom things where people are really you know professional up top and then they get up and walk away and they're in their pajamas you know so, <laughs> so again that's what the fun is we get to work from home being our own boss guys okay so welcome do we have any brand new people here with us today um we've been um my name is marnie hernandez and i actually um i've been with the company almost six years guys okay and the way we started to do this was I had an accountability partner. If you guys don't have an accountability partner, I'm matching you guys up um, next or this or tomorrow. I will be doing accountability partners. Um, I did a training on that. So um, if you guys want an accountability partner besides having your sponsor, make sure you sign up for it. Um, I have a bunch of people I have ready to match you up with. And again, it's not a, a mentoring training program. It's more of a um, support group. Okay. And what I do is I match you up with people within your area, your time zone. So you guys can do um, a certificate. You guys, I mean, um, hotel inspections, you guys can do, um, what do you call it? Um, farmers markets and stuff. Uh, Chelsea, no, I have um, from January 1st until the end of February. So I have two months worth of people that I'm going to match up. I needed to make sure because I try to match you up with two or three people. So that way, in case one person is busy, now you have another person to go to. Okay. Um, yeah, let me um, okay, the link. Um, first off, this is the link for our training today. Make sure you get in there and register. So I'm giving you guys a few minutes to do that. This is the training on um, what an accountability partner is and our voucher program. In case you missed it, guys, um, watch this also. Okay, let me get in here. Hold on. Anyway, there we go. Okay, so um, there's two different um, trainings for you there to get into. Um, and if you do want the accountability link, let me know. We'll get that added also. Um, but what it is, guys, my accountability partner was Nikki Lee. She kept telling me, Marnie, did you finish your, your princess training, your Disney training? Let's get that free cruise. And I kept putting it off. I was working full time. Okay. Um, but what I did was I'm like, okay, you know what? When I quit, I was able to quit my job, fire my boss, but I was still very unorganized. And um, as you can tell, I still am. But um, I'm like, you know what? The way I can make myself accountable is I'm going to do this once a week or whatever. And I started doing certificates once a week. And I'm like, hey, anybody want to join me? This is kind of fun. Let's learn together. And now we've now grown to four days a week we do this on, guys. So um, hopefully you guys can join us. Again, I have all our trainings on our YouTube channel. So again, if you're new, um, all the ones that we've already done are right here on my YouTube channel. We've done Boracay, uh, Philippines, Royal Caribbean, guys. We're going to finish that one tomorrow. Um, but here's my YouTube channel. Also, Seven Wonders of the World, New Agent Orientation, Travel Business Opportunity, Mammoth Lakes, Palm Springs, Anaheim, Switzerland. So lots and lots. We did New Orleans. New Orleans is amazing. We did a two-parter for that. Um, so make sure you guys, you know, um, get in. And the, like I was saying, um, the, hello, Kathy, welcome. The best part about doing these together, guys, is because first off, you know, we learn together, we get, um, we get um, certified together, we help each other with the answers. But as we complete them, you get a certificate, so you get to post that on social media, you get a um, all kinds of promotional material and stuff, um, invited to fam trips and stuff. So that's why, you know, if you join us now, and as you see here, we put a calendar out each, each month of what trainings are going on. We do these Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays now. Um, but we also have a spreadsheet, so you don't have to kind of jump around on my YouTube. It's right here. Um, so we've done Alaska, AM Resorts, Barbados, Carnival, Cunard, Princess. 
Um, Canard and Princess, you actually get a free cruise. You um, anywhere from a three day to a thirty day cruise. Um, so if you haven't completed your training right here, it says princess, there's, as you see, there's eight trainings. We're doing the final exam next month. So you guys have time to catch up. But again, with um, princess, you get a free three day to 30 day cruise, just pay port taxes and fees. Okay, guys. So just wanted to share all that with you. And let's go ahead and get started again. Hopefully everybody is registered and ready. Um, if you follow, a lot of you follow along on your phone and then we'll take the test with us online, okay? Um, we do not, please type the website for the site. I can't find the schedule, no worries. Um, so uh, copy, here you go. So what happens is, um, uh, we do not let anybody fall behind, okay? So if you're still registering or if you come in late, we will wait for you and make sure you get all the answers to the test, okay? All right, uh, you can print the PDF for this one and it's the same as what Marnie will be reading. Thank you, Joanne, again, see? So that's what's great also, guys. We all help each other. I'm an agent just like you guys. I'm nothing special, okay? Um, I've just been with the company longer and um, I volunteer my time. That's it. That's the only difference between us, okay, guys? We're all equals, okay? So we just help each other. And that's the main thing. Try to help each other. Um, again, I do the incentives, the uh, vouchers. Um, no worries, Jamie, we're just getting started. So um, as um, we do these, what I do is I usually will read and then you guys um, listen. Sometimes, you know, we we'll take turns and stuff. And then we all take the test together. So that's why I said you have time to get going on it, okay? So we're doing Scotland today, okay? So uh, you have accessibility, carrier, accommodations, et cetera. Um, here's for the agents, okay? Welcome to the Specialist Counselor on Travel to Scotland, the Scots Agent Online Learning Program. Do you, do you hear the tile work? I'm so sorry. <laughs> so yeah, he, he shut the door. So again, you know, a company name. Yeah, I always put Archer Travel because you want to um, hope that you want to make sure that, you know, we are tied to Archer. Remember, Evolution is our marketing side. Archer Travel is the travel side. Okay. All right. Um, this program has been designed specifically for the travel trade, giving you an introduction to the destination, taking you in depth about what to see and do in Scotland and showing you the very best of what the country has to offer your clients. Once you register for the program, you will be sent, again, regular updates on Scottish tourism products events, festivals, exclusive offers, and much more. So to click on sign up now, complete the form, and let's get going, okay? Again, facts. So the facts, over 2.5 million overseas visitors travel to Scotland each year. Edinburgh, Scotland's capital city, doubles in population during the festival um, month of August. Castles can be found throughout the country, and many are open to the public. Scotland is known around the world as the home of golf. There are more than 550 courses and golf is relatively inexpensive. Visitors can go to distilleries throughout the country to see how whiskey, Scotland's national drink, is made. Around 50 million people worldwide claim Scottish ancestry. English is the most widely spoken language with about 1.4% of the population also speaking um, Gaelic. Gaelic. Okay, so the benefits here are fantastic, free, everybody loves free, right? Free benefits available to the Scots when you become studying. I'm on the website, but what page are you on? I'm at the very beginning. Once you sign up, go to travel trade, and then the training is right here, okay? So I'm just going over the benefits right now, okay? Here are the fantastic benefits. Monthly newsletter bringing you the latest in news and products and updates Scotland and Scottish suppliers. Commissionable deals via the travel trade product section of the site. Scots agent listing on a consumer website, okay, advertised. Dedicated email for assistance with inquiries about Scotland with a 48-hour response guaranteed. 
and a free Scott's logo to complement your own stationery. So again, it's kind of cool. A lot of these vendors and programs, and again, these are to learn, learn ways to, you know, get out there and advertise, get people, you know, hey, anybody want to go to Scotland? Look at this amazing information, okay? Um, so getting started, if at any time you have any questions, contact them. Additionally, here are some other websites. Now, again, if you're new, a lot of us will have different folders, binders, et cetera, you know, for our training. So you can just thumb through or, or get on your computer and look, okay, here, if I have somebody that wants to go golfing in Scotland, bam, I got the website right there. So make sure you save those, okay? So I'm going to click sign up now. All right, so registration, I already registered. Okay, so let me get back. Welcome, Marnie. All right, so I'm already logged in. So hold on, Scott's agent. Come on, I'm already in. Go to course. Okay, there we go. So course menu, let's go to the course. Let me know when everybody's there. Okay, so as you see here, Essential Scott, Scotland close up, getting there, getting around, heritage. Okay, so it looks like there's six of them. Okay, as I said, we go through it and then we take the test together. Nobody gets left behind. So welcome to Scott's agent course the one-stop shop for travel professionals who wanna increase their knowledge of Scotland's history, culture, and tourism opportunities. There are five compulsory seminars and one optional seminar. All seminars are grouped by subject and finish with a quiz. After completing the seminars, one through five, you'll have graduated as a Scots agent. Seminar six, meetings and conventions is an optional seminar, will be relevant to those working in the MICE sector. Each time, sorry, I'm late having computer trouble. How do we get there? I can't find this page. Okay, so again, um, here's the link to sign up and register. Okay, guys. And then go to um, the course menu, Scott's Agent Destination Education Program. And we're on the course menu and we're just getting started. So don't worry. And again, um, I have people here that will help you. I'm just gonna start reading, okay? But you will catch up. We will wait for you for the test, okay? Don't get, don't get uh, frustrated. Don't leave us, okay? I get people that say, I can't find it, I'm leaving. Um, because this is fun, okay? All right. So again, um, each time you complete a quiz, the next seminar will come become unlocked. So be sure you complete all of them in a day or dip in and out of them at your leisure. Happy learning. Again, yes, you guys can do these on your own, but they're kind of fun when we do them together because, again, you get help with the tests, okay? Um, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and start with Essential Scotland. And as she said, there's also a download PDF, okay, so you can follow along. Okay. So let's open it up. Okay, so introduction. This uh, section will provide a brief introduction to Scotland, including information about its landscape, population, climate, mountains, and locks, all the things that uh, which make a vacation in Scotland unique. We will also give you some background about Scotland's main industries and some of its biggest natural attractions, including gardens and wildlife. By the end of this section, uh, you will be able to tell your clients about the landscape of Scotland and be able to ascertain where the main mountain ranges, rivers, and lochs are located. Determine how the climate and seasons vary in Scotland. Explain the variety of gardens to be found in Scotland and name and locate some of the most well-known. Identify some of the different types of wildlife your clients can find in Scotland and give your clients an overview of traditional and contemporary Scottish industry. All right. So total questions, 10, we need to get eight right. So just remember that. And we usually do pretty good on our tests, okay? All right, so the land, land, landscape, and population. Great Britain lies just off the coast of mainland Europe. Scotland, England, and Wales are three different countries that make up Great Britain. But add Northern Ireland and you have the United Kingdom. I didn't know that. Did you guys know that? Great Britain, again, this is like a school, right? <laughs> Great Britain is 94,500 square miles and 244,753 square kilometers. That means that on a rough scale, Great Britain is of comparable size to New Zealand, Romania, or the state of Florida, but it is only half the size of Spain. Scotland is one third 
um, one third the area of Great Britain, which is approximately similar to the United Arab em em Emirates. Sorry. If you can imagine it, the whole of Scotland could fit inside the state of Maine, but it is nevertheless twice the size of Switzerland. Plan journey times and distances. Do you guys see my cat? Plan journey times and distances carefully. There are only a few motorways, freeways, but still plenty of, here, let me look at my cat. Anyway, plan journey times and distances carefully. There are only a few motorways, freeways, but still plenty of good quality main roads. The main site has information about driving distances and times. From the border with England to the farthest northeastern part of the Scottish mainland is 275 miles. Uh, travel to the north of Shetland, and you have to add on almost half as much distance again. Okay. Scotland's population is around 5 million, which is roughly the same as Philadelphia or Finland, and makes it one of the least densely populated countries in Europe. About a third of the population live in the four biggest cities, Edinburgh, Scotland's capital, Glasgow, Aberdeen, and Dundee, okay? All right, the language and dialect. You can reassure your clients that they have no problems understanding the Scots. English is the language spoken in Scotland and many people will consciously modify their accents to be understood. When Scotland became a United Nation in the 11th century, the predominant language was not English, but Gael, Gaelic, Gaelic, the Celtic language of the invaders from Ireland who had first settled in Scotland in the sixth century and is still spoken in the Western Isles today. However, the people of Lothian spoke a form of Old English rather than Gaelic, and over the centuries this evolved, first into Scots, then eventually into the English that you will hear spoken throughout the modern day Scotland. As your clients travel around the west of Scotland, they will see road signs in Gaelic um, with the English translation below. Often they will see 